Hi, my name is Julia Parker, and the big problem that I'm going to be focusing on this semester is why un state underfunding public schools is really starting to hinder the development of children in these public schools. Now, public schools have always been underfunded. Even when I was a kid, we had a lot of things cut, and it was a normal thing for it to happen. But the funding that they're even getting just does not go the way that it did when we were younger because inflation has just been rising. Uh, the amount of money it takes to even fund certain things just is way higher and way more than it was when the funding was given when we were children. I think this is really important to me because my siblings are still in school and I get to see exactly what uh, things get cut throughout the year and how terrible the reactions are on their part when something like their favorite sport or their favorite after school activity gets cut due to money. Um, I also really want to focus on it because as educators, um, or I want to be an educator, I should say, as a future educator, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I really care about the development of my children and the people that are in my classroom. That's definitely number one for me in knowing that public schools are not getting the funding that they need to be able to provide the necessary things that's, that some children, if not all children, need is very heartbreaking and I want to bring attention to it. Um, so, wanting to switch gears now and talk about Ruff and Briner's uh, theory and how it relates to my big problem and going through the little system. So, first we have the micro system, and those are going to be like families, uh, different, uh, sorry, those are going to be relationships like families, close peers, and these relationships are definitely going to be affected by this big problem, such as um, one thing that I used in one of my examples this week is a young boy and his dad not being able to go to after school um, football practice and be able to bond that way, get out some um, energy and also exercise. It's a means for a lot of things. Um, and that's just one story that of many that could be happening due to these school projects and school things being underfunded and cut. Next we have the um, meso system, uh, the meso system. So that I want to bring um, examples for like family dynamics and things that could affect the child's experience at school. Um, so different friendships and like those bonds that would maybe at one point make a child want to go to school, make a child want to learn. Uh, the different dynamics, the different relationships that they have made school more of a positive thing to as where now with the cut uh, sports, the cut programs, they're not getting those friendships and experiences through school and that's going to indirectly hinder them wanting to learn and wanting to experience things because I really enjoyed you know the thing that after school I got to go to band practice with my friends that's not going to be a thing anymore if uh, schools are underfunded next we have the exosystem so that involves um, you know um, indirectly impacting the child so uh, I wanted to talk about workplaces and how parents usually use these after-school programs to um, allow them to work later, allow them to kind of not have to hire a babysitter, and these after-school programs are going to hinder, I know that they shouldn't be babysitting these children, but they allowed for parents to not have to spend so much money on babysitting or figuring out what to do with their child after school, and this definitely is going to indirectly affect the child because they're not going to have anything to do after school and it can make them get into trouble um definitely won't have eyes from adults on them if like a family can't afford child care so it definitely affects them in that way too so um the macro system um laws uh values things like that so a lot of uh cultures not cultures i should say communities revolve around the public school when i was from these small towns really revolve around the school the sports what they're doing, um, celebrations, parades, things like that in my town totally revolved around the achievements of the students in the high school. So that leaves a whole community not able to really do those parades anymore, not able to celebrate those accomplishments because those accomplishments can't be there if those uh, after school programs aren't there. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was the Corona system. And um, so this is historical events and like life transitions. So things like um, football players that go from playing high school football to college, to the NFL, NBA players, anything like that, it's not going to really be a thing anymore unless a child seeks that off by themselves in a different program that's not totally, you know, given by an after school program. A lot of like sports people got their start from public school programs that were free. And unfortunately, if that's not the case, a lot of those people will not be found anymore. Anyways, I do want to thank you guys so much 
um, for listening to my big problem. I really hope you have some ideas on how I can improve it. If you have an idea on what I can do to help it relate more to um, Rothenbeiner's theory, because I'm still having a little bit of trouble <laughs> with that, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great semester.